Hi, Reuben. Hi. What are we doing? I'm buying some we're doing it, Trampoline. We're the car. Driving the car and we're sitting on the big trampoline, bouncing up and down. Because it's a big people trampoline, isn't it? Yeah. So we have to be very careful. Is it fun now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's bounce on it. Let's, Let's bounce on it. Woo! Ah! <laughs> What's not? Mark, he's finished putting the washing out. He's gone back into the house. Oh. Yeah. Will we go see Mummy? No. No, will we stay here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're having a wee bit of fun here in the trampoline, as you can maybe tell. Stewie, who is that in there with you? You've got Sheldon there. Hi, Shelley. Oh, who's that? That is Luca. We are going for a walk with the... Reuben and well, Rebecca and Joel once we're all sorted, but we're going to go for a big walk together. I hope you're being nice to Luca there. <laughs> I'm coming. What's wrong? Help. Help what? Help what? Yeah, you got it out though, didn't you? And if you're good at getting out, I'm sure you're good at putting it away too. Look at that, you're doing really well. I'll do a little bit with you, but you've got to keep doing it, okay? Well, today's been a bit fun. I've been trying to take it mostly as a day off and stop moving as I start talking. I've been just talking to you and you didn't bother moving. Your nuts. Hey Sheldon. Crazy dog. I know you mm-hmm. You want attention? Where's your paw? Where's your paw? Where's your paw? And your tappy tail. <laughs> anyway, um yeah, I had a fun day um with Rebecca and Ruben and Joel. Um we were at um my boss's house this morning having a bit of fun because Rebecca knows those guys and obviously I know them. And <laughs> Um, so I had a bit of fun there, and then went to Rebecca's, had lunch, took dogs, out for a walk. Yes, you. Stewie, stop moaning. Get up here. Come here. You're such a whinge. Oh, for goodness sake. Hi, Sheldon. You just want cuddles, don't you? Yeah. Um, and also had a few other wee fidgety things to do. And uh, tonight I'm working, so it was mostly a day off, which was kind of nice. It was kind of different. Um... <laughs> Kind of different, I know. It's weird, isn't it? Um, I know you're so sweet, Sheldon. Look at this hug; it's beautiful. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I wanted to talk about something because yesterday I was reading um something from a book, and it was about um how we make our desires needs. Like we have the desire to be loved, but we make them needs. And uh, and that's selfish. And I was just sort of wondering. I was wanting to put it out there. What are your thoughts on that? Do you ever feel that some of your desires become needs for you? And do you think that's healthy or sensible or normal or is it completely wrong? Um. So I was just trying to think this through. I mean, my need for a hug with these guys every day, I suppose, is really just a desire. But you know, I'm sure there are some other things that. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my head around it. Is it possible for our desires to also be needs? Or are our needs just as basic as food, water, shelter, heat, and all of that? So I want to throw that out there, get a bit of discussion going. So let me know what you think. Go! <laughs> I'm going to uh, sign off for today, and I will see you manana. Bye.